Is it possible to condition like a pro fighter? Is it possible to condition like a pro fighter? Absolutely. It's all about the heart rate. I put together a group of conditioning exercises fighters use when training for fights. Let's look at some examples of those specific exercises. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing today is called a lactic sprint. These are 60 to 120 seconds. Uh, when you do this sprint, you're gonna be doing full out max effort, 60 to 120 seconds. And then you're gonna be coming down either to a two to five minute break. I go by my heart rate, I'll drop down to 120 to 130 beats per minute. And then I'm gonna repeat the sprint once more. But before you get into the sprint, I would actually get into some tempo sprints. They're about 70% of the max speed you're doing. So say that you're gonna be doing a sprint at 10. Uh, I'll take the treadmill and I'll take it to a seven. Let's take it to seven real quick. And then I'll be sprinting here for like a minute to get loose before I get into my sprint. So again, when you sprint, balls to the feet, shoulders and waist, breathing out every other arm pump. So say that's a minute, and you're gonna take it up to your speed that you're gonna be sprinting at. You'll be doing a full out sprint for 60 to 120 seconds. Some treadmills, if you step off, you're probably gonna have to come down and walk on it, which is what I normally do. If you're trying to step off, it might trigger by weight on it, so you might have to touch it or walk on it in between. So let's get into that sprint. Here we go, shoulders and waist, balls at the feet, breathing out every other arm. All right, so when you come back down, you walk at about a two speed, bring my heart rate back down up to 120 to 130 beats per minute. You can take two to five minute break. I would still walk slow, two to three speed, pull down, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Your goal is to get four to 12 sprints. I would start with maybe four max and build your way up. You're doing these once to twice a week. They're called lactic sprints. Now we're about to get into lactic hill sprints. So this one is called a lactic sprints. They're actually hill sprints, kind of like football sprints. If you're on a football team, coach makes you run hills and then you walk back down. Short spurts of energy. These are usually go about 10 incline with 10 speed. And your goal over time is to get about 16 to 20 reps. I wouldn't start with that. I'd probably start with six to 10 and then build your way up. Again, this one's done one to two times per week and you'll be coming down probably to 130 to 140 beats per minute if you're young. I would shoot for 140 to 150. Again, 10 to 12 seconds, a lactic sprint. Step off in between, but you have a treadmill that keeps running, or you gotta touch it somehow, keep it moving, so it thinks you're still there, and then you'll repeat the effort. This one, I drop down to 130 to 140, and then I repeat. This one, a lactic sprint, where your heart rate gets up in a fight, where you're in combat, shooting for your anaerobic threshold, and most likely over the course of the reps that you're doing, you'll get up to 155 to 165 beats per minute. And that's where you are usually when you're in a fight. Just train all those zones as fighters do. Strengthen every zone of the heart that they use while they're in combat. So let's hit that next exercise. So this next exercise is called high intensity continuous training method. Uh, I use a spin bike. You can actually use a sled, but you'd have to continually go back and forth, which is probably not as boring. This is the only way you're gonna be able to hit the fast switch muscle fiber at a slow rate. Normally you do plyometric sprints, whatever. 
spin bike is one way that you can hit the fat switch muscles at a slow rate. This will give the fighter more endurance and the fat switch muscle fibers where if he's in a fight, he'll be able to try to knock the guy out maybe five or six times rather than one to two times because he doesn't have enough endurance in the fat switch to do multiple times of trying to knock the guy out. So again, your goal is to keep your heart rate between 150 to 160 beats per minute. So you will have to wear a heart rate monitor. You're gonna take it up as intense as you can. The most resistance that you can handle, you're gonna be standing. It has to be done on a spin bike, not a regular bike. And again, you're gonna be thrusting as you do it. So again, set are gonna be 10 to 20 minutes, two to three sets, two to three times a week. But I would start with one set, maybe at the end of your workout for five to 10 minutes and build your way up to 10 to 20 minutes. And again, the most resistance you can handle. And it's more like a thrust rather than a pedal. As you see, I'm getting up to my resistance. This is my max. So I'm gonna be thrust, 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 thrust. Again, pushing on the balls of your feet, thrust through the motion. You're gonna have to use your arms and your biceps. 10 to 20 minutes. Tour. Okay, that's 10 minutes. And once you get done, bring it back down to active recovery. This is five to 10 minutes of active recovery. If you're used to it, you're gonna take it up to two or three sets of 10 to 20 minutes. But again, I would start with one, 10 to 20 minutes, heart rate 150 to 160, which is gonna be in your anaerobic threshold. You'll be able to have endurance in your fast switch muscle fibers, I'm trying to knock someone out at least five to six times in a fight. 10 to 15 seconds of max effort. Let's go. One of the things that fighters use is called aerobic capacity. So what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna stay at 120 to 150 beats per minute for 30 to 90 minutes, one to three times a week. Again, you're gonna build more over time. You want a lot of gas in the tank when you fight. The more, the better. And what that does is the other exercises I did that hit more of the anaerobic threshold, like the lactic sprints and the lactic sprints, they're really good in combat during the rounds. That's usually where you are. If you have a heart rate monitor, that's what the coaches do. Put a heart rate monitor on their fighters, make sure they're training in the right zones when they do their conditioning, depending on where they are sparring. If your fighter gets gassed during a fight, what the aerobic capacity does is your heart's gonna pull from your endurance side of your heart. It'll pull from there to give them more oxygen endurance to push through the harder round. This is a key component for fighters is working that aerobic capacity. Uh, I'm doing ladder drills that I'm gonna demo today for you. So I'll do multiple ladder drills, but you uh, can any circuit you want. You could do like a half swing squat, kettlebell swing, light sled push, and shadow boxing or some light bag work. As long as you're in that zone, 120 to 150, the entire time, you're good. You can still take breaks, but if you come down to 120, you're still in that zone and then you just pick up the circuit again. I'm really not a big fan of doing the cardio, low intensity, long duration because it's so boring. So this will keep things more interesting for you and you can work that aerobic capacity in a fun way. So let's get into those exercises. Let's go.
exercise I did for today, ladder drills. If it's not quite 30 to 90 minutes, I'm gonna add more stuff. I'll do some abdominal exercises. You could do some landmine twists for the abs. That gets your heart rate up. You can do hanging straps for the abs. Anything in the circuit that'll help you. But again, aerobic capacity is key. Getting that endurance, pulling for the heart so you can make it through the tough rounds. Let's go. So as you can see, it's all about the heart rate and the training like a pro fighter. In Greek mythology, the movie 300 takes inspiration from the Battle of Thermopylae, which took place in ancient Greece in 480 BC. Training like the Spartans is hard work. This is Sparta! This is GreekFreakTraining.com. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. GreekFreakTraining.com! <laughs>